Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is who is your future spouse? Hopefully we'll take a look at um, their personalities and how they're going to act and, and what they're going to do and things like that. We'll see. We never know what comes out, right? So take a deep breath with me. I'm going to send out some healing before I get started. Here we go. All right. Pile one, lapis lazuli. Pile two, amethyst. Pile three, golden quartz. And pile four, carnelian. Take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to. And uh, we'll get a sneak peek on, on your future spouse. Okay, pile one. Oh, hang on. I got to raise the camera. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. All right, uh, if you chose Lapis, then this is uh, your reading. Here we go. Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, The Moon, Two of Pentacles. Hmm. This could be somebody who's keeping an eye on you. So this might be somebody you're acquainted with. It doesn't have to necessarily be somebody you know, but it could be. Um, but I feel like with the page, they might be keeping tabs. They may, might be watching your social media accounts or, I don't know, asking people about you. I, I think they're kind of keeping tabs. I don't, like, think that they're, like, majorly stalking you or anything but I think every once in a while they check out your photos or they want to see what's going on in your life this person will um is a type of person that will meet you halfway will give you equal give and take so your relationship would be balanced or will be balanced and this is a person who knows how to make money Everything they touch turns to gold. So they have good fortune on their side and um, everything works out for them. So that's always a good, 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 good thing to have happen for you. So I kind of feel like your person's very um, happy generally because good things work out for them. And they're willing to compromise. They're willing to um, do nice things. But for some reason, your person hasn't made the decision to come forward. They're still unsure whether they should or not. So they're thinking about it, but it's like they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. They're still unsure. They're, there might be a reason something's holding them back. I'm not sure what that reason is yet, but... I don't know. They're like They're kind of like juggling with the idea. They're playing with it. Like, should I... Should I let them know how I feel? Should I just keep it to myself? I'm just going to continue watching and see what happens. That's kind of what I feel like they're, they're like, they're hesitating. And they're, they're either afraid of rejection or um, they could be already in a situation or uh, there could be some kind of differences between the two of you. I don't know, but they're just, they're kind of holding back. I think eventually, well, this is your future spouse, right? So eventually they're going to come around. They're going to, they're going to make a move eventually. But for right now, they're keeping their, their cards close to their chest and they're, they're not showing their hand yet. So I really do think that this is somebody you might know. And like I said, it doesn't have to be somebody you're close with or you know, you know, strongly. It could be just an acquaintance, just a Facebook friend or, you know, somebody on Instagram or something like that. It, I don't feel like it's a, a really strong connection here. So, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's get some more cards. We'll see, um, if they're gonna, if they're gonna, uh, come through anytime soon. We 
we've got dark hair, dark man. All right, so your person could be anybody that has either dark hair or maybe a dark, darker complexion, something like that. I don't like gender, so I'm not going to put it as a man. But if you're a female and you are straight, <laughs> then it could be a, a, a man with darker complexion or darker hair. If you're a gay man, then same. But I, I, it could be a woman too. I don't, I don't, I don't like sign and gender. I really just don't. So butterfly, a change for the better. All right. So, um, with that card, I'm feeling like they're making a change. They're making some kind of change in their life. So either they're um, maybe getting healthy by doing going to the gym or eating healthier, you know, losing weight. Or they're um, leaving a, a relationship that's toxic for them. Or they're making some kind of a change in their life. They're going through some kind of a transformation. And it's for the better. So that um, might spur them to come in a little bit sooner because they're making this change. But that could be what's holding them back too. Like maybe they're not just not ready yet. Maybe they want to um, be in what they consider their perfect uh, state before they come forward. Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. I think your person's some kind of a teacher. They could literally be a school teacher or a college professor. But they could also be somebody who helps um, like a physical trainer where they're teaching somebody how to take care of their body or uh, a tarot card reader where they, they teach people how to read the cards or there's they're some kind of a teacher where you're, 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 you're going to learn something from them. And it's a positive thing. It's not like a, uh, like, you know, um, somebody who lords their intelligence over you. It's not, it's nothing like that. It's, it's, it's a positive thing. It's you're just going to learn from them and it's beautiful and vice versa. They'll probably learn from you too. The winged wise ones, angelic help, miraculous aid. All right. So the angels are bringing this person to you. So there's a reason you guys need to be together. The angels want it. So, um, it's destined, it's meant to be, the divine is giving you some help. Okay, we'll take it. Fire garden, guardian, ignite your passion. Your person's going to ignite your passion. <laughs> There's going to be chemistry here. There's definitely going to be chemistry. So you guys are going to be very attracted to each other. Um, for some reason, uh, I'm feeling like that might take you by surprise. And I'm not sure why. but And that doesn't have to be for everyone. And maybe they're just not your normal type. I, I don't know. I'm feeling like a... Oh, wow, I'm really attracted to that person kind of thing. Like that surprises me, but I am. Type of feeling. So it's a good thing. And then again, that doesn't have to be for everyone, but I picked up on it, so I said it. Let's get one of my sassy cards. Power of Meow. And on the flip side, it says activate per mantra. So <laughs> the way I'm going to interpret that card is uh, when I'm, whenever I'm feeling like, like where I want to cuddle or I want to show affection 
or I just want, you know, somebody to pay attention to me. I'm, and I'm talking about my, my partner here. Not that I have one at this time, <laughs> but when I do have one, I, I call it like I get purry. You know how like a cat like will rub up against you and they get all like snuggly and they want to be petted and they want attention. Well, that's what I'm feeling from that card. I'm feeling like you're going to be like purry around your person like they're, you're going to want to be snuggly and you're going to want to be touched and you're going to be get held and you're on you're going to you know vie for their attention at times so uh yeah I, I see a lot of cuddling going on i probably just gave out way too much personal information there <laughs> that's all right All right, here we go. Be bold and make the first move. I think that's for you, your person, not for you. I mean, it could be for you. We can, you know, roles can be reversed, but I think they're encouraging your person to go ahead, show your cards. Let, 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 you know, pile one know. They want, I think the angels are, are giving them like a little bit of a nudge here. So you could be hearing from them, you know, pretty quickly, I think, I would think. It just depends on how, how long they procrastinate. I don't feel like it's too far away, though. At least I hope not. Sorry, I was yawning. Oh, here's that passion again. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. You guys are going to be um, very affectionate towards each other. Very affectionate, which is cute. <laughs> don't don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, sorry. Give me a second. I'm my decks are all piled up here on the side, and they're not stable. All right, here we go. Let's get some love advice here. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that is which beyond our control. So I did feel hesitancy here. So now that card is making me feel like um, there's something they want to change or... I don't know. Maybe they don't. Maybe they can't help showing you what once they come around how deeply they care about you. But they're trying to rein that in. They're trying not to be overly passionate, overly loving. And they're trying to rein it in. But at some point, they're just like, you know what? It is what it is. If you break my heart, you break my heart. This is how I feel. I can't help it. So I, there are some deep feelings here. There is some deep feelings, but there is some kind of an acceptance here. And it doesn't have to be that example that I showed you. Again, I felt that, so I said it. But there seems to be some kind of acceptance. Like maybe they're not your type and you're accepting it. It is what it is. This is how I feel, so I'm going for it. There's something about this situation where you there's... Uh, and I don't know whether it's for you or for them, but there's... Some kind of an acceptance that's going to be called for. All right, we're trying to get a Metatron card here. There we go. Signs from Spirit with Love. Okay, so your person's going to start seeing signs. Um, uh, or they're already getting signs from spirit. I remember I said I feel like they're getting nudged. I, I think they're going to start seeing signs. And they're going to start putting two and two together. They're going to start taking it. And accepting it. And hopefully come forward really quickly. I, I really do feel like this person has their eye on you. So they probably are looking for a sign for them to make a move 
And I feel like once they see enough of them, because I don't feel like they're going to make a move on the first one. I feel like this is a person that's going to need to be sure, <laughs> need to be really sure. And, and maybe like, let's just say you are friends on Facebook and you like one of their pictures and they're like, okay, if, she, if they like one more of my pictures, then I'll, I'll, I'll send them a message and say hi. So may, you know, like they're looking for a sign somehow, some way from you. And again, that does not have to be the case, but that's, that came out. So <laughs> They put, they put these scenarios in my head for a reason, so I say them. So anyway, your person's looking for signs, and they're going to start seeing them. And eventually, they will come forward. And I don't feel like it's too far in the future. I feel like it's actually kind of close. But time is a human thing. It's not a spiritual thing. So you know this could be whenever the divine <laughs> works their magic. All right, but they definitely want you to explore this. And and there's a change happening here. So somebody, I feel like it's your person, is going through a change. Maybe they're moving. Or maybe that's just a symbol that you will move in with them or you will move to be closer to them, something like that. Luck is on your side with this relationship. You will be able to write a new chapter in your book of love. Here's a change again and a new life. So I think for some reason I'm feeling new life and that house. So I feel like when you guys get together, you guys might move and start a new life together. Somewhere other than where you, you both reside now. All right, pile one. That's what I got. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me and I appreciate you for it. I really do. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose Amethyst, then this one is your reading. Let's get your cards. We have four swords. Three of swords. Judgment. <laughs> Empress. Four of Wands. There's that wedding. Um, oh, good news and bad news. <laughs> Pile two. Your person's going to break your heart a little bit here. So either this is somebody who's going to break up with you. Or they're just going to hurt you in some way. That that's going to leave you like in a timeout. You, it's going to be like, uh, like why, why did this have to happen? There's something here that's going to break your heart, but you're empress. You're very loving. You're very nurturing. You're very forgiving with judgment here. You're going to give this person a second chance. And I feel like they're going to step up from that point. And you're going to end up marrying this person. The only thing I want to caution you about. And this is just me being a mom. And giving you some advice. This is advice I would give you know, my daughter. Um, they broke your heart. So they did something that hurt you. Right? You got to try. If you're going to give them a second chance. You kind of have to wipe the slate clean. You kind of have to not. Throw things in their face. So, uh, I don't know. This is going to be hard for you. It's going to be hard, but it's not going to be hard because you love this person. You, you're the empress. You love this person and you are willing to forgive them and put a lot of energy into this. So it's not going to be hard for you because you love them, but there's going to be some difficult times here where you're going to be like, you know, well, no, I don't trust you because you did this to me or whatever the case is. So that's going to be a little difficult, I think. I think I have baby birds in my window again. I'm sitting here listening and I think... I hear little baby chirps. 
I have a window in this room, but it it's sealed shut for some reason. It doesn't open. I know it's a fire hazard. I should not have it, but nobody sleeps in here, so it's okay. I'm only in here when I do cards. But uh, they tore uh, the birds tore uh, a hole in the screen, and they built a nest between the window and the screen. And I think I have baby like I. They did it last year or last sp- last spring or last fall or something, and I I didn't know they reused a nest, but I think they might have because I think I hear chirping. Anyway, I know. I'm sorry. I just disturbed your reading. <laughs> and I think it's because I wanted to get rid of this this energy. I wanted to expel this this sadness that I feel. And yeah, you know, the good you know the good news is there's deep love here, and you will be, will marry this person. So I'm I don't know whether they feel good for you or or not. But we're gonna have to get more cards and keep going. Okay. Maybe this person makes up for it and, and it's okay and you can forgive them. And and maybe it's not like a cheating situation. Maybe it was just um, something dumb, but it still hurt. Stepping into a new experience and controlling. Are you kidding me? Controlling your anger or you will be sorry. So... That advice of keeping your emotions in control and really having to wipe the slate clean here and have a fresh start if you're going to give them a second chance. You have to keep your anger under control because otherwise it's not, this is going to cause problems. I'm not really sure what they mean by this stepping into a new experience other than your Maybe you've never been married before, so you're going to get married, and that's the new experience. All right, I'm going to get, I'm going to throw this out here. And again, this is not for everybody, but it could be an unwanted pregnancy that happens with the Empress. Maybe you want to keep it, and they don't. So you have some resentment towards them. They hurt you because of that. Stepping in a new experience, becoming a mom. Controlling your anger over it. That all makes sense. It it popped in. I have to say it again. Of course, that's not going to be for everybody. But there you go. So let's uh, get some more cards. Hang on. Sorry about that. Here we go. We have Mother Mary, love, peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Well, I know I say things for a reason. (laughs) But they're just confirming what I said. They want you to choose peace. They want you to let it go. They want you to just be loving and, and forgiving. And I think that's your nature. I feel like that's going to be your nature, but things are going to pop up every once in a while and you're going to get insecure. But just try not to uh, pick fights. Discipline, armor, boundaries. Yeah, I feel like you're going to set boundaries with your person and they're going to respect them. They're going to know. They're going to kind of develop a tough shell a little bit. Because they know they messed up. And so they're going to be disciplined now. They're going to have themselves in control. And they're going to make up for this hurt, whatever this heartache is. I do feel like they're going to make up for it. I do feel like they love you. I feel a lot of love from them. And this could be them controlling their anger for you, not not you you controlling yours it could be them having to control because you nitpick sometimes or you know say things that you shouldn't you you can't let something go you know so um this could be them controlling their anger and them being disciplined and them being faithful and devoted there is a lot of love here there is love on both sides so I'm sorry you have to go through this. I'm sorry this is, you know, the advice I'm giving you is is this is who you're going to marry. 
but at the same token you don't this is on the this is the trajectory you're on now you could change this tarot is only meant for advice you could change it we have free will so if you don't like what i'm telling you right here and you don't want this person you don't need to be with this person it's just this is the path that you're on right now release the old and rest so they're telling you that they're gonna that you're gonna have to release it or they're gonna have to release it roles could be reversed here but this is i'm taking a look at your person so they're going to have to release any anger, any bitterness, and let it go. All right, let's get a sassy card. Busy transcending BS. So that means they're, you're trans, somebody's transcending negative into positive. Pick one thing beyond your control and let it go, just like that. All right, so somebody needs to let something go. They need to transmute it from something negative into something positive. Communication is key. Talk about your feelings, communicate back and forth. It is the key to, in most relationships. It's very important to communicate honestly and at the moment, not bottling things up. Engagement. <laughs> So you got the engagement card, you got the wedding card. So I really do feel like this is going to happen. Even if you don't like what I'm telling you, I think it's going to happen. Um, again, just take this as advice. Do what's best for you. You do not have to marry this person, okay? Nobody's going to hold a gun to your head. At least I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. transformation here we go your relationship with one another is about to deepen and love conquers and transforms all things so you guys will come back together you guys will love each other and transform it there is a lot of love here there really is you're just gonna have some things to work through and a lot of relationships go through this you so you won't this is not out of the out of the box this is kind of normal pink self-love and nurturing oh so metatron sending you pink energy or will be sending you pink energy during this time to help you heal to help you love yourself to help you make decisions that's best for you and you know even if this person did hurt you if you love them and you feel like they love you back that doesn't mean it's wrong to be with them. We can overcome hurts. We can. We can heal for them. We can forgive them. It's not always easy, but we can do it. Let's pull you some charms. You got don't judge a book by its cover. My ugly bug. It's ugly. It's an ugly bug. But it's gold on the inside. So there might be a situation that it might look uglier than it actually is. All right. You have the key to success here. You will have a reason to celebrate. Try not to just try not to play games with each other with that football. Just try not to play games. All right. And and don't hold on to things that are not serving you, that aren't for your highest good. Let them go. Let them go. 
And lastly, you have the bicycle. So that means the energy is going to be moving forward. It'll be moving quickly. So I feel like you'll be able to forgive them in a decent amount of time. Like things will still continue to move forward. You'll never truly let go of this person, it feels like. So I honestly don't feel like it's a major breakup. I kind of feel like it's just a, a hurt. Because I kind of feel like you don't ever, ever let go. And they don't ever let go of you. They, you might just take a break or take a time out to heal your wounds. And, and like I said, maybe you're doing this to them. Roles could be reversed. But I don't know. You guys are going to definitely get married, it feels like. And I feel like you, for the most part, you're going to have a very loving relationship. You just got to heal the hurt. Oh, sorry I had to give you that message. And sorry I went off track. That's the ADHD brain sometimes. <laughs> I heard the chirping and I went on. I went down a different road. But anyway, um, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me and I appreciate you for it. I really do. Till next time, love and light. Okay, pile three, if you chose the golden quartz, then this one is your reading. Let's get your cards. We have the High Priestess, Eight of Pentacles, Judgment, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. I say eight, Ace. I don't know why I said eight. Probably because I was looking at the eight of pentacles. Um, I'm not sure about this one here. Um, I think that there's somebody that you have passion for. Or somebody has passion for you. Because we're looking at your future spouse here. So I'm trying to get their energy really. So. Somebody has a lot of passion here. For you or you for them. I'm, I'm trying to see if I feel like. The, is this a second chance? With the judgment here. I think you're trying to use your intuition. With the high priestess. Or they're trying to use theirs. To see if this would work. They're trying to make a decision here. Even though there's passion here. There's attraction and chemistry. Somebody wants to know whether this is going to work or not. They're reassessing. They're either hoping for a second chance. Or they're just saying, you know, do I, do I, uh. Do I do things differently? Somebody is really working hard at something. So, I, I, this, I mean, this could be somebody you work with. Why isn't the story coming? This one is throwing me off a little bit. I, all right, so what, what I'm really getting is somebody's trying to decide between two. Pile three, I am stumped. Normally, the, the story just flows. But let's talk it out. Let's talk it out first and see if um, the story will develop. So the high priestess is somebody who sits back and watches. They're very wise. They're all knowing. They know things that they that other people don't. So I kind of feel like, you know, we're looking at who who your future spouse is. So your person could be very very wise, somebody who works really hard. 
But somebody who's taking a look, they could be taking a look at their life. Even, and, and wanting a second chance at something. And they're trying to decide. They're trying to decide something. They're trying to make a choice. They're juggling two things here. But they definitely have passion for you. Or they will have passion for you. All right, let's just get more cards because maybe the story will it'll come. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. Oh, this is a karmic relationship, maybe. Or a twin flame. Oh, could be twin flame. Now I know why I'm confused. Okay. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay. All right. So your person is very um, good at what they do. They're shrewd. They know how to make money. They work hard. All right, so that, I think that's just a personality trait. You could possibly know them through work. That's okay. But I feel like that's, especially with the fox, this is just their personality, that they're a very hard worker, they're smart, very smart, that they're logical, and they are shrewd. High priestess, they're, they're all knowing. They know a lot. But the karma card, the haystack card, really makes me feel like this is twin flame. And with the high priestess here, the high priestess is like sometimes sits in the dark. It's sometimes she's, she's, you know, in the shadows. She's lurking in the shadows. So that's what got me a little bit confused, I think. I think I was, they were, she was uh, clouding, cl making my, making me have fog brain. She was clouding it up for me. Usually the moon does that for me, but I think the high priestess was doing that for me today. I think this is twin flame. Really, I think this is a twin flame, and that explains judgment. Because there's got to be a lot of taking a look back at things with with uh, a twin flame relationship. I definitely feel like it's twin flame. All right. Whew. Not a big fan of twin flames. Just saying, but they are kind of amazing. <laughs> They could be really, really great, but they could be really, really awful, too. All right. <sighs> See, I always feel like the twin flame comes in to put you back on your path because I feel like you've strayed from your uh, soul's purpose at some point. So your twin flame comes in to make you, like, take a look at things and analyze some stuff and, you know, put in some work and put you back on your soul's path. And then they leave. <laughs> and then you're like, where'd you go? I'm chasing you. <sighs> I don't really like twin flame relationships, but. All right. You got Gaia here, Earth Connection. I really do feel like your person is very um, environmentally conscious. I feel like they are, you know, they enjoy nature. They love being outside. They love um being surrounded by nature so they may love going to the beach or they might love going to the mountains it doesn't matter but I feel like they really enjoy the earth and they're they're, they're the type of person who doesn't litter they might be um, somebody who who will only eat organic somebody who feeds the birds or the animals they're they're very earth conscious Just a way for you to identify your person. That's all. Oh, they're very generous. The lady of the gift. They're very generous. They're very giving. They're very loving. trying to get something more from that but <sighs> I, I, I don't know I think that they don't want me to say they don't want me to discourage you from this twin flame relationship that needs to happen I think they're they're keeping me 
<laughs> quiet. Oh my goodness, you got the star ancestor. This is definitely twin flame. At the very least, it's a karmic relationship. It needs to happen. This marriage needs to take place. There's a higher purpose for it. And you're probably going to learn a lot, which probably means that there's going to be a lot of hurt involved. <laughs> Because the most growth comes from pain, unfortunately. It just does. Um, and I don't want to scare you. I don't want to scare you. And, and I know I do that sometimes. And I don't mean to. This doesn't mean this isn't going to be a very lovely, loving, um, exciting relationship. Because it, it's definitely going to be exciting. Um, but there might be some really high highs and some really low lows. That's what you get with a, with a twin flame. So that's, you know, that's, I, I, I'm more of a, I like, I like small hills. <laughs> you know, I don't, I like some, can I do it? Small hills, not these big spikes. Uh, that's not me. But a general, adrenaline junkies love those big spikes. So this could be a perfect relationship coming in for you marriage whatever the power of serenity now pencil it into your schedule okay so I definitely feel it. it's twin flame I feel like when you have those low lows you're gonna have to pencil in that serenity you're gonna have to find a way to calm the mind and calm the chaos and just Breathe and be okay and just know that there'll be another spike. When you're down, you'll always go up. So I think that's what they're they're gonna they're saying with the card, regulate regulate your feelings, regulate your emotions. In a twin flame, that's almost impossible to do though. I gotta be honest with you. A fiery climax approaches. Well, that's all along the lines with twin flames. It means you're going to meet your person. It's going to be combustible. You're going to know that your person, you're going to fall hard for them. It's going to be just amazing. It's going to be amazing. Make the effort. So when you have those fights... And you guys butt heads. Make the effort. Try to make the effort to get along. Try to make the effort to see it from each other sides. It's a tough one. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Just remember that. You're in control. You could do what you want. You do not have to marry this person. You can walk away. You have the power. But this is the path that you're on right now. So you would have to change it up if you wanted to change this trajectory. But we all have free will. So if you don't like what I'm saying here, by all means, do not <laughs> marry this person. Karma. <laughs> Untying the knots. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a relationship that's really meant to happen. It really is. Let's see. Some karmic contracts are, are ending but need to be finished with good grace. Karma needs to be respected and worked through till its end. Life has consequences. The good deeds you do are not returned to you. The good deeds you do are returned to you tenfold if done with a loving heart. And likewise, any action that causes pain comes back to you with a debt to be repaid. There's no escaping the laws of karma. You are facing difficulty in life right now. 
then lessons such as compassion, forgiveness, and tolerance may be being asked of you. So I think this card is just saying that, yep, I was right. This is a karmic relationship or this is a twin flame relationship and it needs to play out. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. That doesn't mean it's not going to work out for you. It, it absolutely positively could. You're just going to have some highs and lows. That's all. There's big love here, though. There's a huge amount of love. But you're going to have to cut ties with, like, a lot of negative stuff. And that could be your own negative stuff, your own negativity. But they're saying that the stars are aligning for you. Like, this is going to happen. Just remember who you are. Make sure you step into your power. And try not to hold on to things too tightly. Try, try to keep this relationship with a loose grip. Again, tarot is for advice. So, nothing is set in stone, ever. Anything I ever tell you is not set in stone. So, I, I'm just giving you advice. That's it. You take what you resonate with and you leave the rest. And you do what's best for you. August. They gave me August. So this might not be, you might not be coming into contact with each other until August. But anyway, that's what I got for you, Pile 3. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and I'm also very excited for you at the same time. I am. This is, this is going to be a journey. This is going to be a learning experience. It's going to be fun. It's going to be passionate. It's going to be very loving. And uh, it's, it'll be up to the two of you whether this could last forever. Because it can. Twin flame relationships can last forever. They can. So, uh, yeah. It, they just take work. That's all. All right. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. All of those things help me. And I appreciate you. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose the Carnelian, then this one is your reading. Let's jump in and get your cards here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Eight of Swords. All right, so your person is might be younger than you with the page. It's possible that they're younger than you. Um, but your person's very abundant. Your person could be financially stable. Or this relationship will be very financially abundant with you guys together. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is money you can uh, retire on. So I feel like your person is just uh, a good person. I don't know why I just said that, but I feel like your person's a good person and they have a lot of abundance and good things happen to them. They have the wheel here. Luck is on their side. So good things happen for your person. And, you know, they're, they have a cup of love here for you. They're also a manifester. They are the magician. They know how to manifest what they want. Or at least... They think they do, but then they get caught up in their head and they, they have fear that they'll never have what they want. So they probably have, they've probably been single for a while and they're probably manifesting you, but they're scared you're never going to come in or they'll never find you. Your person's not one that's going to settle. Your person's the magician. They're wise and they know what they want and they're going to, you know, Keep conjuring until until they get you. But they're also going to like, they're going to like uh, be in their head a lot. They're going to worry a lot. They got to stop that because they, that, that blocks them. That blocks them from getting their manifestations.
spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Your your person's an angel. Your person's an earth angel. They're just lovely. <laughs> they are. They're lovely. I, I was feeling that with Ten of Pentacles for some reason. They're just, they're an angel. On earth. They're an earth angel. They they do nice things for people. They they're be they might be very beautiful. They they are very loving. They're just um I don't know, I just feel like they're good. Oh, strong emotions, passionate love or hate. I think they're gonna have strong passion for you. They're I feel like they're the type of person that loves with everything that they have, their whole being, their whole heart. They put their all in their person when they find their person. It's just they won't settle for less than they deserve or less than they want. So they they might take a while between relationships to find somebody, but once they find you, that's it. You're it. You're going to be it. And they're going to be very passionate towards you. Lady Nada, Heart Awakening, Ex Awaken to the acceptance of divine love. Give and receive and balance. Yeah, I feel like your person is a very fair person. I feel like they do. They will give equally to you. They will keep it in balance. Um, I, I just feel like your person's just manifesting you. They're waiting for you. They want to love you, but you're not there yet. Self-sabotage. The prison weave. Self-sabotage. That's what your person does. That's kind of what I was feeling with this. They, they are self-sabotaging their manifestations. Look what they could have. They could have this abundance, this, this, uh, happiness and joy and love they can have this all they can have this all but they self-sabotage it they put up the blocks because they don't believe they're ever going to get it or maybe they are can't control how they get it so that worries them i don't know they got to get out they got to get that under control they got to get that lack mentality uh and change that up they're the magician they have these manifestation abilities they could have whatever they want in this life. Your person's pretty special. I feel like they're very, I feel like they're an earth angel. I do. I feel like they're special. I feel like they're here for a reason. And they're very loving and giving. They're a healer. Medicine garden. Be open to healing information. They're a healer. So what does that mean? That means that they could be a doctor or a nurse or um, a counselor or an energy healer like I am they could be a healer some kind of shaman or somebody you know who who practices Reiki like I do um, they could just be somebody who gives really good advice it could just be a wise, intelligent, old soul type of person. But they, they help heal. They help heal and they help uplift. So they heal, they're, they're healing the planet. Or humanity. They're helping to heal humanity. I don't know. I just feel like they're just a very amazing soul. That's all. Visualize world peas. Peace. It starts with releasing the BS. Okay. Uh, see green. Visualize the world peace. Uh, releasing the negative. Your person tries to stay uplifted. They try to see the positive in things. They try to let go of the negative. I'm sure they're human and I'm sure that they might have a hard time doing that sometimes like we all do. But I'm thinking for the most part your person's a healer and they know how to do things. They're a healer and they're a magician. 
So they know how to manifest. They know how to use the laws of the universe. Um, but they're human, so they might not always do that. They know they have the knowledge, but sometimes they put up their own blocks. <laughs> kind of feel like, you know, uh, we all have this. An angel on one side and a devil on the other shoulder. We all have that. But I feel like your person really acknowledges that. Like, they know what they need to do. They have that angel on their shoulder. They know they want to see the, the good in everyone. But sometimes they're human. And that's where the devil comes in. And they're like, yeah. Sometimes they're still, they, they don't do what they should do. But I feel like they give really good advice. I do feel like they give good advice to others. They just might not always follow it. I feel like I'm describing myself. <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum. Uh, this, this could be coming in soon. Wedding. Okay, just... This is the person you're going to marry. You are going to get married. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is both supports and challenges. You know, I said that your person is very um, fair with that card. But what I almost said, and I didn't, and I almost said it, was that you're, I feel like your person's very fair, but the more you give, the more they'll give. So if you give 10%, they're going to give you 30%. If you give 100%, they're going to give you 120%. I feel like they give a little bit more. And I feel I felt like that again with this card. They're very loving, but they do expect some balance. So if you don't give anything, they're not going to give to it either. They're going to be like, well, they're not giving me anything. Why would I give it? But if you do give, they're the person that will go overboard and give you even more. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, let's get you a Metatron card. Healing, pause to receive. Your person's a healer. They're just, they're just a healer. That's all. I'll, I'll read a little bit from the book, but that's, I mean, that's showing a person given Reiki. Stop for a moment and allow yourself to look at what needs healing today in your life. I think that's what your person practices. Like they... If they get overwhelmed, they're like, okay, what needs to be healed? Why am I feeling this way? And I think they might do that for you. Like if you come home angry, you're like, okay. They'll probably be like, okay, what made you angry? Well, why did that trigger you? What does it matter if that person acted that way? Why, why does it matter? Why did that trigger you? Let's heal that. So I feel like your person is just wise, wise and very... Loving, nurturing, and, and healing. Play some charms. You're definitely going in the right direction with this person. If the, This is going to lead you to a beautiful relationship. You're going to find a lot of joy and peace in this relationship I feel like your path to this person will be clear like it will be lit up for you you'll know that this is your person you won't have any doubts you won't have any doubts your person might because your person gets all in their head but you're not going to have any doubts um, this relationship's going to grow and be rooted and grounded um, you could even have a family with this person with that tree that's the family tree but I feel like, again, you got another tree here. So I, I feel like you guys are going to be solid. This is going to be solid and stable. It might be a little unique. 
with that snowflake might be different. Like your person could be a little different than what you're used to, or I don't know. I just, there's some kind of uniqueness here. It could be your person or it could be you. No, nope. that's what I got for you, Pile 4. I hoped it helped. I hope you uh, get this person soon. I really do enjoy this person. I do. I think they're lovely. So, uh, yeah, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me greatly, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.